Hi guys, so um, this is just going to be a quick video about my time in Disneyland. Um, when I Before I was going, I couldn't find much information and Disney don't really provide you with anything either. You don't know where you're going to work, you don't know where you're going to live and you're heading off alone so it is a bit daunting and I remember trying to find some information and not coming across any unfortunately. So um, maybe I can give you a little bit of advice. Um, what to expect? Um, well, first of all, if you have gotten this far, well done, because you are about to have an amazing summer or Christmas or whatever period of time you're going to stay in Disney. It's so much fun. You're going to love it. Um, it's full of young students um, from all across the world and it's just brilliant. The pay, not so much. You work hard too, um, but I mean, overall, it's great. It's great. Right. So um, quickly on the interview process, they do a lot on Skype or they come around before the summer season and they do interviews in the main, um, main cities across Europe. So you can apply at DisneylandCasting.com, send in your CV with a photo um, because that's the norm in France. Um, your interview will be in French. Um, pretty much most of the time it's in French. Unless you are French, then they tend to do your interview in English. Um, your French doesn't have to be amazing, it can be basic. In fact, even if, um, like, I wouldn't really worry about it. If you really want to work at Disneyland, you don't know how to speak French, I would still even go for it because they make exceptions, okay? Um, what else? Um, you can be in the parade, you can be a character, and you don't have to speak French at all. Um, and they get paid better than us too. They get paid 2,200 euro a month, which is pretty good for 35 hours work a week. Um, otherwise, other jobs are working on the attractions, working in boutiques, working on maintenance, cleanup, which I wouldn't recommend, ticketing, or um, in the restaurant business world. So, um, you can choose from whatever one you want and then hopefully they will pick you and then you've got a job. Um, they will tell you nothing. Um, opt for um, living on, not on campus, but with like everyone else who's working there, seasonal workers, go by yourself, it's not that scary, it's fine. Um, when you arrive, you won't know anything, you won't know where you're working, you won't know anyone around you, just have all your documents, your contracts, and um, you'll go to this Fantasia building in Val d'Europe, and um, you'll meet everyone there, and they will organize buses, and they'll bring you all together, and they'll say, okay, you guys are being shipped off to this building, and you're going to live there for the next between one week or three or four months um, and then you get sorted into rooms and it can be you can be in like little houses of four or five or you can be in a room with like one other person um, so it really depends I had a great experience I was so lucky to be with a Finnish girl and we just hit it off um, and we actually just by coincidence we worked in the same place too and it worked out so well but some people did have a few hiccups or disasters really with people they were living with and um, so what I would recommend I don't know sometimes they let you choose so if you're there and you're nice and you meet somebody just like be like oh maybe we should share <laughs> and um, yeah it won't be so bad if it's really bad you can ask to change but sometimes they don't let you do that but never worry about that when it comes um, so it's great anyway and the buildings are all like close to Disney so you'll have no problem getting to and from work um, then you will start your training week. Training week starts in Disney University, which is right on Disney. And um, you will do training for a week and it's so much fun. It's basically watching movies, you know, shows, learning how to be a nice person and be really outgoing. And you get paid for it. It's just a great week. <laughs> and you get to like know loads of people and they like pay for your lunch and stuff. So brilliant. Um, what else? They get you get shown around like backstage, imaginations, which is the big building. Um, let's see. Um, okay, well I guess I'll talk about the work a little bit. So attractions wise, that can be really tough. The work there because a lot of the time you're outside in the heat in heavy costumes. Um, or you know if you're working on like Big Thunder Mountain or some of the roller coasters, they're so busy you never get a break. Um, but also you get a chance to practice your languages. I've heard, you know, they depend, they can have good teams and, you know, um, a bit of ambiance. 
and such. So it just really depends which ride you want to go for. And people in shops find that a little bit boring sometimes. Um, but it's it's probably the easiest um, job, I would say, maybe. Well, I don't know. I didn't do it. But yeah, I th I've heard tractions can be kind of hard. And then ticketing, I don't really know anything about. And cleanup, I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> and, then, and then I was in the food business, which is like a whole range of stuff. You can be on stalls, or you can be in a restaurant, um, or you can be in fast food and such. And you kind of like, when you do your interview, they'll ask you what you're interested in and specify. Because I specified, you know, table service, I want to be a waitress. And they put me in like a really good um, restaurant where I was able to earn tips. Um, the work, I'm not going to lie, was very difficult, um, especially at the start, I was just, I, I don't know, it was very hard at the start, but once you get used to the whole system and the way people do things, it's not so bad. I actually really enjoyed it by the end, um, so much so that I extended my contract and I would I would go back, you know, um, it was great fun and when you're earning tips, it just helps because you can live off those a little bit or you can pay for your beers or you can pay for your train into Paris and stuff like that. So it does help. Um, so the characters get paid 2200 a month and everybody else gets paid 1400 a month. And you do get taxed about €300 Euro by the French government. So that's not great. But, you know, you kind of get used to it. Accommodation is then €290. Euro. Um... But again, for Paris, it's pretty, pretty decent. Um, and then the rest is yours to spend. So if you want to save money, you have to either be in the parade because they get paid more or be a character because they get paid more or be in the restaurant business. Not, no, sorry, in the table service business because the fast people don't get tips and such. Um, yep, you can also work in the hotels, but I didn't really know many people who did. But you can always ask, and um, they're quite flexible, and they let you kind of do what you'd like or what you would want. Um, what else? Oh, nightlife. Um, that was brilliant. Nightlife is so much fun. Um, I mostly did nights with uh, my roommate. And so we would finish at 12 o'clock and we'd change out of our costumes and then we'd head over to Disney Village, which is where all the cast mem members of hang out. And um, there's like Billy Bob's and the sports bar and everyone's there and they always just sit outside like with a drink in hand because you get discounts and everything. And um, it's just so good. Uh, I like had such a great time and uh, you meet so many people from all over the world. Loads of friends, mostly French. And... Um, just such a good time. And then on your days off, you work five out of seven days a week. So you can go into Paris, you can go out in Paris. Um, you just really get to know it as an area and not just like the typical like Champs-Élysées and Tour Eiffel, but like, you know, you get to know the, little, the proper Parisian areas and they're so nice, they're so much better. So that I would recommend. Um, I think that's about it for the moment. If you have any questions, um, please ask me because I was in your position about three, no, about four months ago and uh, I was quite nervous, <laughs> but it all worked out. So uh, don't worry about it. Everything will work out and it'll be fine. Just speak up. Okay.